VCPDCV 2023 2V 21 21.23 Real questions are shared online for your VMware vSphere 8. X Professional Exam 1. A vSphere cluster has three DNS server virtual machines, VMs. These VMs provide DNS services and can run on any host in the cluster. The administrator must ensure that DNS services are available at all times, even if one or more hosts in the cluster fails. Which type of rule must the administrator create to meet this requirement? A. A VMVM affinity rule. B. A VMVM anti affinity rule. C. A VM host affinity preferential rule. D. A VM host anti affinity preferential rule. Answer. B. 2. An administrator is tasked with creating a copy of a virtual machine, VM, running in Microsoft Hyper-V. A developer must be able to run a local copy of this VM on their laptop. The following constraints apply. The laptop is part of the same domain as VMware vCenter. The laptop is not connected to the network on which the software-defined data center, SSDC, is placed. The copy of the VM must be able to run in VMware Workstation. How can the administrator enable the developer to run the VM in VMware Workstation? A. Export the VM from Microsoft's Hyper-V server. Export the VM and import the VM into VMware Workstation. B. Use VMware vCenter Converter. Convert the VM to the right format. Export the VM and deploy on VMware Workstation. C. Export a backup of the VM and import the backup into VMware Workstation. D. Create a clone of the VM. Export the clone of the VM and import into VMware Workstation. Answer. B. 3. An administrator has enabled vSphere cluster services, VCLS, retreat mode on a cluster with three SG hosts. What will be the impact of this change in the event of a host failure? A. vSphere high availability, ha. Optimal placement will not be available on the cluster. B. vSphere distributed resource scheduler, DRS will be set to disabled on the cluster. C. vSphere high availability, ha, will be set to disabled on the cluster. D. Enhanced vMotion compatibility, EVC, will not be available on the cluster. Answer. A. 4. An administrator configures a vSphere cluster to use vSphere Lifecycle Manager images for managing host version compliance. Which action should the administrator take to find the latest verified software available in the vSphere Lifecycle Manager depot? A. Check hardware compatibility. B. Check compliance. C. Check for recommended images. D. Manage Depot Overrides? Answer. C. 5. When configuring vCenter Identity Provider Federation in vSphere, which three pieces of information are required? Choose 3. A. LDAP Address B. Client Identifier for the Application Group C. Shared secret for the application group. D. Server application name. E. One-time passcode. F. Open ID address. Answer. B. C. F. 6. 
Which two things should an administrator consider when tasked with deploying new encrypted virtual machines into an existing VMware vSphere environment? Choose 2. A. VM encryption is only supported when a data store is backed by self-encrypting drives, SEDS. B. All virtual machine data, excluding swap files, is encrypted when using VM encryption. C. Once encrypted, the process of unencrypting a virtual machine is destructive. DVM encryption works uniformly across all supported guest operating systems. E. All virtual machine data, including swap files, is encrypted when using VM encryption. Answer. D. E. 7. An administrator creates a virtual machine that contains the latest company-approved software, tools and security updates. Company policy requires that only full clones are allowed for server workloads. A combination of which two tasks should the administrator complete to prepare for the deployment of this virtual machine for multiple users? Choose 2. A. Set appropriate permissions on the virtual machine. B. Create a virtual machine customization specification. C. Upgrade the virtual hardware. D. Convert the virtual machine to a template. E. Take a snapshot of the virtual machine. Answer. B. D. 8. An administrator is planning to upgrade a VMware vCenter instance to version 8. It is currently integrated with the following solutions. Asterisk VMware ARI Automation Asterisk VMware Cloud Director Which tool can the administrator use to run interoperability reports before the upgrade process? A. Sphere Update Manager B. VMware ARIA Suite Lifecycle C. V. Center Server Update Planner D. V. Sphere Lifecycle Manager Answer. C. 9. An administrator is adding a new SSHE host to an existing vSphere cluster. When selecting the cluster, the administrator is unable to use the cluster quick start workflow to add and configure the additional host. What could be the root cause of this issue? A. The administrator has previously dismissed the cluster quick start workflow. B. The administrator must manually add the host to the cluster before using the cluster quick start workflow. C. The administrator has not been assigned the required permissions to use the cluster quick start workflow. D. The administrator must enable the cluster quick start workflow option in VMware vCenter. Answer. A. 10. An administrator must gracefully restart a virtual machine, VM through the vSphere client but the option is grayed out. The administrator has full administrative access on VMware vCenter and all the objects available in vCenter, but has no access to log onto the operating system. Which action should the administrator take to meet the objective? A. Upgrade the virtual hardware. B. Migrate the VM to another host. C. Install VMware tools. D. Restart vCenter. Answer. C.